556 MDR is probably like the best bang for buck that you can get. It's insane. Like it is crazily good. Your play style will decide whether or not you survive. All right, good stuff. Okay, we are gonna do a 556 MDI. It's kind of towards the top end of the, the budget spectrum, but you get so much for your money with regards to the uh, the 556 MDR guys. When we did, when we last did a budget experiment, we kind of discovered that the 556 MDI is probably like the best bang for buck that you can get. It's insane. Like it is crazily good. And the most interesting thing as well about the 556 MDR is that it's cheaper from players than it is from the traders. The 556 MDR will basically do everything that you want it to do. Yeah, the 556 MDR will do pretty much everything, right? So let's pick up one of these. So straight out of the out of the box, the 556 MDR has 78 ergonomics and 73 vertical recoil. Now, 73 vertical recoil sounds like a lot, but it has a quite a low fire rate, 650 RPM. So there's plenty of time for the weapon to settle down in between shots. Okay, it's not like it's not like a A10. Vulcan cannon or, or, or whatever they it is that they've got equipped. All right, so this thing is great. I love the 556 MDR. I never use it, but if I was running low on money and I needed something that I knew was going to help me out in a pinch, this is what I'd get. Okay, what you can do as well, we've got a preset saved for this. It's called the Versatile uh, MDR. Okay, we did a video on this as well, exclamation YouTube, if you want to go check it out. So the Versatile MDR 556, uh, essentially that's the one with the Alcan, uh, which we don't want to use because the Alcan, well, I don't, I don't like the Alcan. We can just, we can just, uh, we can just over, overwrite that, it's fine. All right, so sight of your choice, okay, sight of your choice really. Some people like using four times, some people like using one times, whatever it is that you are best with is the site that you should use. For me personally, I work best with sites like the Hammer and the Bravo. Is the Hammer or the Bravo a budget site? No, not by any stretch of the imagination, okay? It really isn't. Generally speaking, you're not gonna get a good four times for, for cheap. A lot of people do like the, um, the dual roll, the Spectre. For me personally, the sensitivity lets it down for me. If the sensitivity worked, like if the sensitivity felt like it should and we could use the top mount here, right? I would probably use this. The reticle is really nice. The sight pitch is really nice. It's just a really nice scope. I have, I really like it. However, the one thing that lets it down for me is the sensitivity. It's probably a bit more expensive than what a lot of you guys want to use. I'll use, a, um, I'll use like a hammer, all right? I'll use the hammer. Okay, that's what I'm most effective with. You are much better spending an extra 10, 20, 30,000 rubles on a sight which will help you to survive and help you to kill the target, you are much better doing that than you are spending 20k less on a site that's going to lose you your whole 200k kit. Does that make sense? All right. And something like a site is the one thing that's going to allow you to hit your target. So please guys really think about that. Okay. So let's look at the stats real quick. Uh, we're still on 67 and 70. Okay. We've got the NT4 suppressor. Uh, we're going to go through all the prices in a minute. What we can do as well, let's pretend that we've, well, we have got everything unlocked trader-wise, but, you know, let's let's push on with, with this for now. We'll stick on a little uh, M-Lock foregrip. Okay, we'll stick with 30 round mags at the moment, okay, because they are cheap. Um, and that is pretty much ready to go. You've got your sight, you've got your foregrip, you've got your suppressor, just in case you want to stay, you know, stay hidden, stay quiet. And the suppressor brings me on to another point that's really important as well. As a solo player, you want to make sure that you can go about your business with as little trouble as possible. As soon as you start making noise, guys, people are going to run, run for you, especially this stage in the wipe. Everybody's chasing PvP. Nobody gives a shit about their gear. Nobody's really on tasks, okay? The start of the wipe is way different. Sometimes at the start of a wipe, a loud weapon can be your friend because people will run away from you. They're trying to get their tasks done. They're trying to do stuff in Tarkov. But at this stage in the wipe, having a loud weapon, people are going to just f***ing run towards you. Is it worth spending that 30k on the suppressor to allow you to stay hidden? Or are you going to go loud and uh, potentially make more money by killing people? That's something that you need to think about. Okay, this build on itself, including the weapon. This isn't going to be budget now, is it? It's going to be like super expensive. So remember, guys, to remove 
the traders only filter uh we don't need a pistol grip we don't need we do need that we don't need the barrel because it comes with the gun we don't need the foregrip and the gun itself so this from a combination of players and traders this is going to set us back 154,000 rubles for the whole platform but for 154k you've got a fully auto 556 firing accurate suppressed you can engage from range you can engage close up okay it's a very versatile weapon platform and as a solo player when you're trying to get stuff done being versatile is incredibly important you might think to yourself 150,000 rubles is a lot of money in the short term it does look like a lot of money right for a budget gun but think about what you will achieve with this gun do you know what i'm saying the best budget is not your gear it's not your weapon it's not your loadout the best budget tip that i can give you is your play style your play style will decide whether or not you survive. Not your weapon, not your ammo, nothing. It's what you decide to do with what you have. That, and that includes information from what's going on on the map. The information of what's happening on the map, plus your gear, will inform you on what you should do about a situation that's presented to you, okay? You can, you can get from one end of the map to the other. You can survive. I mean, it was a run-through, obviously, but you could survive with nothing no body armor no weapon nothing you can you can do it so that was the perfect kind of demonstration on use what you have to inform what you're going to do i hope that makes sense all right uh so why don't we put this bad boy together you do not have to use this scope but i'm investing more money into my scope because i know that it, it will be accurate i know the sensitivity on it i know that it will work All right. Sensitivity is a little bit funky. But I'll try and get uh, used to it as quick as I can. So, essentially, guys, I don't want you to... Oh, we've got no laser either. I don't want you to judge this raid alone for budget. And I, I should probably change my play style as well. To kind of accommodate for what we're doing. We're probably going to die a lot. And that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, would I have gone dorms with this kind of gear? At this stage in the wipe? No. Probably not. Probably not. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll find Scab Boss. What were we saying? All right, what we got? Grenades for days. Let's try and get some info on what's going on. We've got a load of grenades on the left-hand side there. We are going to try and get up close and personal on this. I think the scab boss is there. Uh, we definitely got someone with a million grenades on the left side. We are, should be so dead. We're probably gonna die. Our armor's already 50% durability, class four. Um, I don't know what that guy was doing. SA-58 and an M1 rig. Is he watching the uh, stream? <laughs> Do you think he was watching the stream, guys? He was going for a budget run too. It was the aim that let him down. Aim and the positioning, not the ammo. And me being really f***ing lucky. Normal scav with a... Saiga. There's at least three. Coming this way. There's at least three coming this way. Just a bit of background on Rashala and his guys. They generally run uh, 545BT. They can also run 366AP, uh, which is incredibly powerful. I believe Rashala can also run AP20 in his Saiga. Uh, he can also run 995, 56, and 55A1 in his AK101 and AK102. Um, they have great ammo. They kind of cheat a bit because they're AI, so they're hard to fight in that respect. But we've got plenty of grenades. 
We might be able to bring them over here and uh, do some damage. Sniper scab's still up as well. We need to get him out of the way. Oh, that was crisp. I'm going to pre-med as we go over because I don't particularly want to get shot in the butthole by these guys. Somebody here, 100%. Oh, he's there. What are you doing there? This is very, what a lot of people would say, rat gameplay. What I say is that we've got a budget loadout. We've already killed a PMC. We've already been engaged and we've already been damaged. We had to repair three body parts with the CMS, so we're already at a disadvantage. We're using our information to, uh, I could have killed him by now, to fucking engage this guy on our terms, right? He's killed the scab boss. He's going to get really, really comfortable. So hopefully he gets super comfortable and uh, he'll go for Rashala. We can get a nice easy one tap on him and then we'll go and take his stuff and then we'll move for the extract. All right, that's the plan. Okay, completely lost element of surprise. He was doing that little wiggly jiggly turn. He now knows that there's somebody. Uh, he's dead, good, right. So he made a mistake. Thankfully, made a mistake. All right, good stuff. Is he gonna be pissed off about dying like that? Yes. Do we care? No. Are we gonna try and get his Paid support. Yes. Squad. If you ask me, we did everything right. Your play style is way more important about when it comes to budget than a lot of times what you run. Yeah? But obviously there is a line to that. Okay. And there you have it, guys. There you have it. A little bit of luck. A little bit of uh, cool and cold calculation. I mean, you tell me if you think that was a profitable run. So we've got 6.3 thousand XP. Right, we got the best parts of the scab boss loot. We killed two PMCs, four scavs. So we've got six in total. Oh, hi. I see you've reached the end of the video. Thank you very much indeed. And for that, I'm going to let you in on a secret. Monday to Friday, for around six to eight hours a day, we stream over on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Dan If you want to come and help us out with some great ideas for the channel, please feel free. Looking forward to seeing you there.